Okay, gonna go over the features of the 58 touchscreen Dellum controller right now. I'm gonna go to the manual screen first. That's kind of where, where we start when we train people. Uh, we can pick a method of bending. Obviously, we're gonna do air bending today. But you can pick air bending or bottoming, hemming, all these different sections you have. Um, and you also have bending length you can select. This will calculate the tonnage for you with your thickness. Um, we got product position. That's where we're going to have it positioned on the RAM. We got our angle. We want this to be a 90. And it's simply when you push enter, it enters down for you. And this is a correction. So when we bend our first part out of a new, out of a new material typically, it may be one or two degrees off. We can simply just put a one or two degree correction and now we got a perfectly 90 degree bend out of our part. There's a correction two. This right here is where our um, Y axis is gonna travel with all that information it just got above. That's our mute point when our RAM comes down and slow down for bending. Parallelism, we can actually change that. We can actually fade our RAM, but that's just telling our RAM to come down perfectly flat. Uh, this is our opening to, uh, so we can get our part out of our press brake. And this is calculated 9.3 US tons for this thickness of material and that length. Uh, dwell time, we can change that. Why dwell time is important? There is other materials like hard ox or just um, stainlesses where you do want to dwell a little longer so the material can take form before it actually releases. So there's, and then you got decompression, which is a cool system. This you can actually set when you can actually set a time when actually the round will come up slowly and it can actually lay your material down on your uh, sheet supports. It's a cool little feature this control has. And you can adjust your speed. Obviously you can see your thickness here. You can change that to point five zero enter. And then um, now it just automatically told me do you want to pick steel, zinc, or stainless. And we can even add that to that library too. And I can go into that too and show you. So we got machine. We can actually go into materials right here, and we can actually add, and we can actually get our, from our supplier that um, these E modules or whatever the material type, and put in here so it matches perfectly, so we don't have to do as much adjustment to our controller, more accuracy, less faults to it. So we'll go back to manual, and we can go ahead and select our punch that we want, and also our dies. You can see a picture here. Um, we can pick any of these any time and go ahead and enter those and I'll go ahead and do that change for us. That's what we want to do for this, you know, basically our manual setup. Makes it very quick and easy to go up and bend a part quick and easy. do will have to make it, you know, an extensive program. And um, keep continuing. We got x-axis. We can go ahead and set our back gauge to what flange length we want to bend. Retract. There's certain parts we want to have the back gauge move out of the road so it can get, uh, doesn't get damaged. So it'll actually, you can tell it, I want you to move five, five inches out of the road so this part won't clash into the back gauge. Our axis, we can raise or lower uh, in this setting here. I want to raise two inches, we go ahead and set that. And it also tells us for the die, it's giving us information. And de uh, deflect is what we call our CNC crowning. That's what it's set to right now. And we can change that if we want to modify it here too. And now we can go into um, tooling. You can actually turn your punch either direction. You can select. You can even description or ID. You can find a lot easier because there is quite. You can add quite a bit of tooling in this controller, as you can see. Same with the die. You can flip that too, but it's got a bunch of selections here. This controller. And then also, if you want to go ahead and. Machine. If we want to do a new tool, simply come into here. This is just picking a standard V die for us. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to accept it. Or enter, sorry. ID, what's going to do? Test. And you can simply change the width here in this location, two inch height, what's called a three inch. Just you kind of see some of these changes that you can make. And you can also change your angle, I want 85. So that's how simple it is to program and make a, a die. Very simple. We don't want to store it, it's just a die for demonstration. 
Uh, and then if, as far as products, we can go into products here. Kind of a cool thing about this controller, you just go into products, you push that now, it's, you can see it's pulled it up. Now I go into the drawing, it actually pulled this program up for us. And a cool feature about this control, it actually does help you program a radius band. So properties, you want it bumping, obviously 90 or creating radius is 7.87. We can actually, if you want, if you like, don't like the witness marks or don't want to have any witness marks, we can even add more hits to this too. So we simply do that and change anything. And then also this control, you can actually simply just do this too to change any of this product on here. Very simple. If I'm going to go into that radius, I just tap it twice. Now I can go ahead and change that angle too. So I want to do like a minus 86, just a simple one. And obviously just continue through and just modify this program very easy. And this is your program too that um, when you pull it up, you can modify it in here too. It doesn't have like the, the drawing like we just seen here. This where you just modify things by numbers. So you can just go ahead and say, well, I didn't like this right opening. I want to change that opening to a five inch on that one. And then over on this band, I want the opening to be, you know, three inches. I want to change the mute point. Um, anyways, you can go continue all the way through to all these different bends and modify them, which is honestly when you're doing bump bending, you're probably going to want to do just check each one of these bends and modify them a little bit to get completely around centrical shape when you actually want to close it. But yeah, it makes it very simple to modify and correct your part and uh, modify your program. Then you, uh, you got your bend sequence, so we can go ahead and bend. There's quite a bit of bends, obviously, because it's a bump bend part. We can go ahead and bend. Just make sure there's no um, crashes for this part. There we go. And now it's telling us to flip it. Boom. And we're bent. Product's bent. Now we can even unbend it, too, as you can see here. But, yeah, this will actually tell us if there's a um, going to crash or the right tooling's being even used for it. So very nice. and gives you warnings what this controller does. And if we're ready, just go ahead and push program and we would just automatically start the machine and we'd, it, the machine would go those positions and you'd start bending your product with it. And if you have more questions on it, don't hesitate to call us.